Uh, I'm John Venus. I'm a uh, vegan athlete, I suppose I call myself, and uh, I just focus on showing that you can build muscle and be healthy on a plant-based diet. What's your name in that? Uh, it's Jesse Simpson Ross. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Vegan, yeah. Vegan. And um, yeah, it's bodybuilder, man. How long have you been vegan for? A um, year and a half, man. David. David, tell us about yourself. Recently, I've done all my contest prep as a vegan. I didn't go vegan straight away. This is where the selfish element comes in. My concern with going vegan was where am I going to get my protein? So everything clients have is you provides you with enough protein. Like yeah, you might need to eat a bit of tofu here and there, and you need tempeh, but there's so many products out there you can eat. And then it's just having enough carbohydrates to fuel your training. Yeah. It's pretty easy to tick those both off. I've said it a few times, like with the whole meat and dairy thing, you know, I was tricked into believing that was the only way to get protein, and also a lot of people believe that, you know, overdosing on protein is necessary, but um, it's just not the case, man. Can uh, find everything from plants. I mean, animals are getting it from plants as well because the animals we eat are herbivores. In hindsight, it sounds sort of a little bit ridiculous to say, but that was my biggest concern was, hey, what about my health? I, I've been told I need to get my protein, my calcium from animals and... Well, if you look how big a cow gets, for example, and um, a lot of them are just grass-fed men, so if yeah. they can get that big and that, that sort of amount of protein and that sort of muscle from grass alone, you've got to question um, you know, whether you really do have to eat an animal for protein, man. Um, yeah. Like saying that I, I can't go vegan because I'm going to lose muscle is just foolish. Yeah. I mean, there's thousands of people out there who are vegan who make, have crazy performance and have crazy muscular physiques anyway. I understand sort of why people think that because you're raised that way and you're told that's the only way to sort of um, get protein and things like that and you've got to drink your milk and you've got to eat your meat to, to get big and um, yeah, I actually, I actually believed it for a long time myself. You don't need to eat meat to, to have good performance, okay? Um, in terms of absorption, I actually noticed improvements, wow. which is funny because I thought the opposite. Um, you know, I was skeptical at first, um, but it turns out that it was, you know, I progressed even faster after switching to a plant-based diet. My game in the gym improved, man. Um, yeah, I, I would say I, went, I was much stronger in the gym. Um, I was training much better. I was looking better than ever. The only thing I did lose from going vegan was a bit of fat, man. I feel like to live the best quality of life spiritually, physically, mentally, to remove animal products, you need to remove them from your diet. I struggle with uh, digestive issues. I had a, you know, a pretty severe case of constipation often. Uh, so that was like removed instantly within two weeks. I was like feeling lighter and healthier. Uh, I also gained a lot of strength in the gym. Yeah. And uh, you've seen evidence of bodybuilders doing it without eating animals, yeah? Um, I have seen some, yes. Uh, <laughs> what about the guy behind the camera? <laughs> the guy behind the camera. Yeah, that's really impressive. He's one of the only few I've seen that is vegan and looks big. Yeah. And I can say he looks a lot bigger in real life than, than on video. I can find you 10 people who are training for 10 years plus, they'll say to you, it's just a, if you don't want to eat meat and train, you're still going to make great results, man. Just watch your diet, just like anything else, you know what I mean? All round improvements, wow. really. I can't really say that um, dropping the meat and dairy has, has done me, or had any sort of negative impact, man, at all. It's only, it's only had positives, man. That's, that's the truth, yeah. You're not sacrificing gains at all by switching to a plant-based diet. It's exactly the same, if not better. And I can honestly, I can honestly feel the difference in the gym. Body does not discriminate, right? You've, you've, you've got to hit your macro goals, you've got to eat your protein, your carbohydrates and your fats. Now if we can get those from plant-based sources that aren't injected with sodium, hormones, cholesterol, these things that are bad for the body, and you can get them in an ethical way that is sustainable, then the answer is yes. <laughs> it's, ad and, and it's, it's a no-brainer. About three years ago, uh, I watched this documentary called Earthlings with my girlfriend. Yeah. And um, yeah, prior to that, it was the biggest meat eater ever. And um, you know, eating barbecues twice a week, you know, chicken hearts, rump steak was my favorite meal. Um, so after watching that, it's something just clicked, and I just I found it really hard to watch. Mentally, I don't feel good consuming chicken. You know what I mean? I used to consume a lot of chicken, heaps of chicken, like heaps of chicken, and just I just don't like having that 
weight on my shoulders too much. For what? You know what I mean, for what? A few years ago, I was actually doing some work for a farmer. Now he has turkeys and chickens on different allotments. I still remember pulling up the roof and just seeing this, this shed just full of turkeys. Like, I mean, full, like they could not move. And I was under the assumption that this was maybe a caged environment, but no, it was actually certified free range. Seeing, you know, actual real footage of these animals, uh, you know, just like minutes before getting slaughtered, just really connected with me. You could see their, their suffering and fear, like just in their eyes, just as you would with your own pets. And I own a dog as well, so I just, I just couldn't, you know, ignore this anymore. So yeah, I just decided to change it there and then like, that's it for me. Yeah. So I was gonna say, do you, obviously animals have to go to slaughterhouses and, yeah. and it's, they have to get killed so we can eat their bodies. Yeah. Do you think it's unnecessary to do that to animals if we can look like this without eating animals? Oh look man, um, I don't even wanna comment on that. Like, I have seen like the slaughterhouse videos yeah. and like, it's f***ed up what it's they do to them, yeah, it's yeah. not good. Training so much more than just being physically muscular. It's everything that comes along with it. You know, training's taught me how to live. You know, it's taught, it's taught me that, especially how to live compassionately, with empathy, and just how to navigate through life, man. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like eating animal products takes away from that. There was <clears throat> turkeys with broken wings, like you name, you, like, you name the deformity, it was, it was there, cannibalism, all that sort of stuff. If people sort of understood the cruelty, you know, behind the steak, man, and just saw what those animals go through so you can eat a steak. It's just like when people go vegan, they start to live their life for a bigger purpose. Like their purpose reaches outside of themselves now and they start to see the world with different eyes. You start to see training with different eyes. And I said, guys, you know, why would you stomp the turkeys? And they said, oh, they're only worth a dollar 20 and it costs more in wages to go and collect the turkeys, the one that would sort of get out and try to run away. So if the turkeys don't listen, they got stomped. I couldn't shake the feeling that I that I got from from that experience. Like, I think a lot of people think that it's manly to eat meat, and you know I don't blame people. Uh, you know I thought the same way myself, and you know we all grow up with these action movies with you know Arnold Schwarzenegger eating loads of steak and beef, and they almost feel like they're not a man if they're not eating um, steak and chicken and shit like that. And um, I don't understand how supporting cruelty makes you a man. Um, yeah, it's it's a complete opposite in my opinion, man. Wow. And that's just the bottom line. And I feel like if you want to train long term and you want to live the, the most quality of life, the highest quality of life, well then you, you need to be vegan and train. Not only physically has it, you know, been amazing for me, but for me emotionally, I guess, um, just I just feel great. What, there is nothing manly about eating meat. When you actually think about it, when you see these, uh, you know, uh, the issues that we face today, when you see the cruelty that we're causing these animals, there's nothing manly about pushing your power over someone else who is, you know, incapable of defending themselves. You know, you get over it, man. You know what I mean? You get, you get over yourself. Well, you should get over yourself. And that's a big thing, you know? And once you do get over yourself, you have to start training for different reasons. And vegan, being vegan opened the door for that, man. It's a whole different way of thinking. You know, just protect, like be the protectors. We were the strong people, so why are the strongest people on this planet trying to, you know, take advantage of innocent, you know, weaker beings? Um, doesn't make any sense. Um, I'll tell you to question things, man. Yeah, I, honestly, look into things a bit more. Um, stop looking at what everyone else is doing and following them, you know, be your own man, think for yourself. Even for me, finding the information, I felt like there's so much conflicting information. It's almost like, where do you start? And, and who do you believe? My, my friend here on the camera, he's in competition prep. Yeah. He's done it all vegan. Is, is that surprising? Yeah, it is surprising to me, man, because you actually look really good. I just challenge you to just, just be open-minded. Just look at different examples out there. There are vegan bodybuilders out there with impressive physiques that almost no one else has. And obviously, they're doing something right. If we were to like uh, give you some tips and like show you how uh, you know, I personally eat to, uh, you know, make gains and stay, stay super well, energetic and that kind of stuff. Would you consider yeah. trying it again? I'll definitely listen to what you got to say, obviously, because yeah. you, you're doing something right, that's for sure. Your mind goes from like this to like, you know what I mean? It's like full blown, you're living the highest quality of life there is, man. In alignment. You feel like you're in alignment, you truthfully do, man. You know what I mean? 
I said, I've got Australian titles coming up and I just drew a line in my head and I said, look, I'm going to do this vegan no matter what. And I've I've never felt better, it was the best decision I made. Yeah, plant-based diet, in my opinion, you can truly build more muscle, man. It's cleaner muscle, it's healthier muscle, and um, you know, it's, it's doing no harm to anyone, including yourself, man. It's just, it's as simple as that. But I guess my actions are now reflecting my morals. It's just, it's part of who we are. It's part of who, it's we, part are. Of who we are. Like, as humans, we eat meat, we're yeah. omnivores. Yeah. So I'm not gonna say, let's not eat meat, but yeah. then again, like, you can't be healthy without it. I ate meat for 23 years, man, but um, I stood back and questioned things and I went, right, I've been wrong, man. And, and yeah, it takes a man to admit when you're wrong and um, yeah, be a man and, and, and look into things and, and question, man. Simple as that, yeah.